Thank you everyone for coming out today. At this time I'm going to pass the microphone over to Karen Kim to introduce BJ. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon rather. It is a distinct honor and privilege for me to stand here in front of all these friends and supporters of BJ and say welcome this afternoon. This is an exciting day for Albany. This is an exciting day for so many of us who work in downtown Albany, who care about this community, who are friends of BJ's and who recognize her vision and her commitment and her ongoing willingness and her tirelessness when it comes to working for the betterment of all of Albany. It's an honor and a privilege. I want you to put your hands together and make some noise for our candidate for mayor of the city of Albany, B.J. Fletcher. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. It is 90 something degrees out there, so anybody that knows Yolanda, tell her she got it right today. <laughs> and speaking of right, right off the bat, first thing I want to say to some of you, I want to teach y'all how to save money. If any of you are buying extra cable to get your breaking news quicker, save it, because when I tell you this media team in Albany, Georgia, it gets on the story. I think some of my people released at about 5.45 Friday that I was going to be making an announcement. 5.48, I got a call. <laughs> and by 6.03, everybody had called me. So thank you. Thank you very much. You know why I'm here, but I want to tell you why I'm entering the race. I was born in Albany, and over the years I've witnessed a change with this town and with this people. I sense that some of us are losing hope and I sense that some of us are losing pride. And if I can leave one legacy, it would be to restore that hope and to restore that pride. Thank you. We've watched plants close over the years. Saturday, I believe it was reported that our jobless rate was 9.9%. And let me put that in perspective to just normal numbers. In Albany, Georgia, that is 8,300 people without a job. 8,300 people without a job. Can you imagine that? Let me put it in a perspective that you might be familiar with. Everybody knows two weeks ago we got robbed. 57-year-old man that didn't have a job. If he was working, maybe he would be working now instead of jail. 8,300 people, guys, and I'm sure they have families. Some of you might say, I've got a job. What does it matter to me if the other 8,300 have one? What does it mean to me? What does it mean to them if they get a job? I've got examples standing behind me. This is my family. They've been with me many years. We've been there happy. We see. This is my mom. We witness people every day coming down and asking for jobs. And if we could find jobs for these people, let me tell you the difference it would make in them and the difference it would make in us. We would give them freedom to buy their own products that they want to buy, to walk into the number one produce market in Albany, Georgia, <laughs> and buy it with money that they've earned. It would give them a sense of pride, a sense of responsibility. I've got so many great stories standing behind me. A man, and I'm not putting you on the spot, but you know I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> Ten years ago, he was at a place that none of us ever care to be. I believe you just wrote out about your second year of payments on Stewart Avenue. He's now a homeowner. He's now a homeowner. Denise came into my life nine years ago. When are you graduating from Darton? Next year. 
a job allowed them to do this. A job that we take for granted. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to get some jobs. It would mean for the rest of Albany, if we got 8,300 people into a workplace and off the streets, we would be safe. It would mean safety for us. It would be tons of tax dollars. How you doing, Doc? <laughs> It'd be tons of tax dollars coming into us. It'd be great revenue. Our seniors would feel safer. Our younger people would feel safer. And the younger people that's walking off the graduation fields, they would stay. They would stay and help make this a great city. Amen. As a businesswoman, every day I have decisions to make. We sit down as a team every day and we work out budgets. We see what we've got to do to make our customers happy. We work at the economic hard times and we just figure out things. And the one thing that we have in common and every business person in this town and every person that works for somebody, to be successful, you've got to have a plan. You've got to have a plan. And we lay that out every day. We must remember that our community is as strong as the people that's in it. You are our community. And you are good people. And don't let anybody ever tell you any different. This is some of the greatest people I have had the privilege of speaking to. We can do this. And I'm going to give you an example and take you back a few years. You remember about two years ago when I was sitting there and by noon, 30 people had walked in.